So what's going to happen to you when you die? Are you going to go to heaven? Oh, no. No, I'm not going there. There's no, no, apparently no space from here to here. Um, <laughs> no, I... I, I, I if I said, I really don't mind, who's ever, who's, who's ever in charge of this, 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 this thing we call, the, we call the, the universes and the cosmoses and so on, who's ever in charge can look after that. I don't really see myself taking a consciousness into another life. I don't. I mean, because there's, there's enough life and death, if, especially if you live on a farm and live on the water as, as I do. You see a lot of life and death, well, we all do. You know, you know, but you see it a lot more perhaps closer in nature than we might do living well, in the city. Well, in the suburbs or something, yeah. But mm. uh, So I don't know, I don't, I don't hang out for that. If there is a life after death, I'll find out when I get there. Mm. But I'm not, I'm not hanging out for it. There won't be vestal virgins and things like that waiting for you. Well, you never know. I mean, <laughs> I, 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 I'm not turning it down. I'm, not, I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying I'm not sort of, you know, I'm not banking on it. You know, I'm, no. I'm, I'm, I'll, be, I'll find out when I get there. I'm more interested in poems. I'm not interested in poetry as such. Poetry, they have things like Poetry Day, and they write to me, people write to me, and they say, you know, would you come and do something on Poetry Day? I say, yeah, and I mean, every day is Poetry Day, if it's a real day. Mm. If there's no poems in the day, it's, it's going to be a pretty bleak day. And a road code of mine right through my life has been tell the story, tell it true, charm it crazy. And another one of my one of this is what I call the CH3 factor in poetry, which is charm, charge and charmed. And you've got to have all three. Perhaps you should form a church, Sam. Maybe, watch out, Brian Tamaki. <laughs> you can make a lot of money. I know, I know. I could have a big, big, a big, a big black, black four before. <laughs> you go around in my Hummer. Yeah, in no, windows. I don't, I don't want that. Uh, no, no I'll, I'll stick to the, I'll stick to the, the 86 Mazda. Yeah. Uh, okay. So are you, are you, are you a happy man? Um, not all the time, no. No, I don't expect to be. But overall, I mean, I love the minor key in music. Mm. I love the minor key in a lot of things, like the, da the, the darkness. Uh, but that doesn't make me unhappy. It makes me, in fact, does really, I suppose, make me happy. Have you ever used... Uh, drugs? Drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yes. To help you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't mean to help me, to quiet, well, sometimes to quieten it down. Yeah, oh, right. When the noise is too, too, too much in the head and you need, need silence, you know, um, uh, that can be good. So I'm not dismissive of, um, of drugs. I mean, it would depend on the sort of drugs. There are some that I would keep well clear of, but... Uh, but alcohol and, and marijuana, good dope, you know, mm. our dope comes from the Kermadex. <laughs> really? Uh, no, no, not really. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, that was just to get people off the scent. <laughs> that's, that's just to put people off the scent. That's right. yeah, the cops, so, are, the cops are like, whoa, off the Kermadex. Yeah, whoa, whoa, off the Kermadex, yeah, exactly. yeah, on, on the Lady Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so, boys.